It's like a girl. You meet her at a bar. You're just like, you know, <laughs> trying to get some. You're just like, you're so pretty. But, you know, she's not. <laughs> she's not pretty. She is ugly. But and the no, only no, reason why no, you're taking her no. home. Yes. Listen. The only reason I why will... you're taking her home is because you're smashed. This is. No. You're way beyond smashed. This is different. <laughs> okay, please. I think with the Bengals and Dolphins. Uh-huh. It's like meeting a fat girl, right? No, no. <laughs> hold on. Up. Wait, hold on. Let <laughs> me finish. Okay. It's meeting a fat girl that has potential of being cute. Because right now you got your, Joe Burrow. Yes, the Bengals oh, suck. Oh, I right. get it. I the get Bengals it. suck right now. Right now, the Bengals are a fat girl. <laughs> a fat girl at the gym okay. who is trying and has potential. She has the gym membership. Got it. They got Joe Burrow. She's paid for Joe every Joe Burrow month. is the gym membership. Got it. And if they stay, you know, if they stay, work hard, work hard with Joe Burrow and he gets better and better. Mm -hmm. She has potential to be cute. All right. All right. Another day, another episode. We got the return of my co-host, Danny Blue Eyes. We got a beautiful Ali in production. Hi, guys. All right. And today we're going to be talking some sports. But before that, me and the producer over here are running a little bit on, little bit on low, low fuel. Right, Ali? Oh, yeah. That's an understatement. All right. Cool, 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 cool. A lot of energy, if you guys can't tell. What's going on, brother? Uh, it's been a busy week, man. I see uh, Trendy Husky has been working overtime. Producer's been working overtime. Everyone's been working overtime. Everybody's been working yeah, overtime. Right? Like, we're grinding over here. Grinding. Grinding. What a show you guys produced yesterday, huh? Yeah, and we got another that one. That was beauty. We got another one. Um, well, again, <laughs> we keep talking about the ones. But we, we, we had a lot of good episodes this week. We have a lot of big announcements as well. So keep your eyes up. If you haven't subscribed, go subscribe to our YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page. It helps up. It does help us big time. Um, and we have a lot, um, a lot more announcements coming. A lot, lot of big, big, big stuff coming up. So uh, go give us that follow. Don't get lazy. All right. How are you liking your uh, NFL this week? I mean. It's so great far, to have football back. I can tell you that. I mean, it makes three days out of the week, Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. It's just you know exactly what you're doing. So well, it's actually pretty exciting. Well, let's not lie to the people. We took an ass whooping on Monday on our bet on Monday. Oh, well, yeah, we bet on the Saints. Yeah. Um, I think everybody bet on the Saints. I think, you know, it, it's hard to go with the Raiders, you know, even though I'm not as low on Derek Carr as you may be. I think the Raiders overall are a decent team, and any and I, especially the Saints going on the road. But I know it's always hard. But we ended up uh, actually finishing fourteen and two this week. I took my bookie for about twelve hundred bucks. So and this is why I keep telling people: that. if you haven't subscribed, go subscribe to to you know our YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook because sometimes we have too many guests for us for me and Danny Blue Eyes to have a show. Last week. Uh, not only that we had too many guests, but we have had a little accident with Danny's puppy emergency with, a puppy emergency puppy with emergency. Danny's dog. We had to take him to the ER and deal with him. He actually, yeah, go ahead. Actually, you go and oh, explain it. My little, He's actually, my little puppy Rusko he is actually biting like you know one of those circular bones. You know, yeah, like yeah the, I was I was there. Ones. I've seen I it. Oh, I was well, let there. me tell the story, <laughs> yeah. okay? One well, of those asking, circular bones, you're okay? Me. You know, and actually when he was biting one of the circular bones, it got stuck between his jaw and like behind his two front teeth. So they actually had to put him down and like use a drill to like break the bone in half. So they had to put him asleep, you know. It was definitely a, a rude awakening Saturday morning because I was driving on my way here for the podcast. And next thing I know, I have to yep. spend four or five hundred bucks just then getting that thing out Before of there. you know it, he's giving me a call. I was like, what do I do? I was like, uh, emergency. Just, yeah, take him I was to like, the vet. Don't, don't think I twice about it. I thought I could it. pull it out. You know, no. we thought we could no. pull it out. I mean, no, I, I followed him right away. Um, we we, we he, I met him at the vet. 
And they even brought us like lube or whatever. Yeah, they whatever. brought they out the like, freaking lube and said, you want to try and do it? I'm like, isn't that your freaking job? <laughs> we brought you to the vet and you give us lube and say, you want to give way, it a go? By the way, then goes to the most expensive, shittiest vet that anyone could ever find. The and by the way, out, man. the guy creeps <laughs> fix your a mic. creeper. <laughs> he is a creeper. He looks like a creeper, though. <laughs> he looks like a child molester. I don't, there's no other say. way to put it. There's no other way to put it. You know, we're trying to talk prices with him. He's like, I don't talk prices. I don't, I don't talk prices. What, what I'm like, you, wait, what are we doing? What do you here? mean you don't talk prices? You're he's charging like, yeah. me. He's like, no, we yeah, the, the girls yeah. and whatever. We just lube them up, them. and then we, you know, then we, that's where we go from there. You know. I don't know. He did look very creepy. He did. And his brother, I believe, he works at the same spot. He was picking up some dog food from the back or whatever. <laughs> oh my God, and he <laughs> looked even creepier than the actual vet. So it was a very weird environment to be That's in. Right. But they got the bone out. They so did. So props. They did. Oh, you have to explain how they get. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Ali, I don't know if I told you this. So, no, no, tell me, tell me. So. The vet comes out after the, I think this was right before the lube incident, before they give us the lube. He came out and he's talking to us about a couple of options. Like we, we could bring out the lube to you guys and you guys could try and lube him out and try to get the bone out. Or, you know, this is not really a vet kind of thing but what i could a do is stuck is in a vet kind of thing it, exactly he was like he was making it sound like you know like we're, we're going to a mechanic and he's going to do something really out of the ordinary so he's like you know i'm pretty handy dude so i kind of put in that thing over there it's on like the I wall put in this door <laughs> i fix this pipe like, i'm like what the hell like, does that have to do with my puppy <laughs> What does you fixing the door have to do with you getting a bone out of my puppy's mouth? I was like, where are you going with this, bro? She, I don't know. You couldn't well, tell me the price. The second he yeah. said that, I just wa I walked, oh, I walked away. I actually walked away because I, I would have been pissed. If my puppy has a bone and Rusko was actually crying, you know, like you could yeah, tell he was. Trouble breathing, he's yeah, trouble breathing. Yeah. It was, it was, we were, we were very nervous. We were very stressed. We see a dog under stress so it's not really a fun time for us to hear like your stories how you put in this or you put in that on the wall so yeah it was just a whole messed up situation so that's the reason why we didn't post our pics on um youtube last week or you know any of other stuff besides we, we did post it on Instagram, yeah, on Instagram Danny yeah. Blue Guys did post Danny his Blue guy. Da Danny Blue Guy. <laughs> Danny, Blue, Danny Blue Guy. Danny Blue Guy. Danny Blue Guy. <laughs> Danny Blue Guy did. <laughs> Danny Blue Guy uh, did post that on his Instagram. So that's my I brother. He did tag. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Blue Guy. I'm Danny Blue Eyes. Danny Blue Guy's my twin, though. Don't get him confused. Is he in Don't the back getting dog food? We're exhausted. <laughs> We're super <laughs> Running a low fumes over here, people. I think we're, we're a running. bit delirious. A <laughs> little bit delirious for sure. Either way, though, we still went fourteen and two. We I did mean, with our uh, with the picks. Clip. It wasn't bad at all. Very good stuff. Um, we we uh, we messed up on the Saints Saints call. We definitely, we 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 did not get it right. The Saint, the Drew Brees to me looked very old. Well, he looked even old last year. We were talking about this, you know, mm -hmm. earlier in the preseason. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reason, like, I mean, the Saints lost in the first round to the Vikings at home last year. Mm -hmm. And the reason was that because Drew looked a little old. He looked like he lost a step. He looked, the arm strength looked a little off. That play where he was almost getting sacked and he kind of shifted left right before halftime and he tried to make that throw over the linebacker, it okay. wasn't even close. Yeah, no. It wasn't even close. No. I mean, no. He tried to make the throw on the move. It uh, that one really hurt. Right yeah. before halftime, they were able to tie up the game, and then the and then the Raiders just kind of ran away from, from That's it. From it. There. Yeah. Second half, Saints were completely absent. Absent. Not there. They didn't score a point. Every play was was like Drew Brees giving it to Kamara. Mm -hmm. Every play. He didn't throw it over twenty yards in the air. Not even. It was yeah. check down city. And once did he throw it over ten yards? I think of, I think a few throws. I don't know if he completed it over ten, but he attempted it. I don't know. I don't know. It was sad. It was sad to see that. Um, and and if we see a couple more games like like this from from Drew Brees, 
I think it's about time for him to start thinking of hanging I mean, it up. It's still early. It's still one bad game. It's Let's one see. bad game. Let's true. not overreact. Let's, yeah, that's true. It Let's is one bad game. Let's see if they could, you know, come it and is. fix it. But they got a tough test coming into town. They got Green Bay coming in next week. So yeah, well, there's ho- really no time for a lag. We got a lot more games to talk about. We're going to be breaking down every game this week. Um, my mic is not really well, one to yeah. I do keep pulling it. <laughs> uh, my, <laughs> anyway, so we will be breaking down every game again this week. What we will be doing, because this won't be published until Friday morning, we will be cutting uh, Thursday game. We're going to break it down, and we're going to make our picks, and then we will be posting this one on, on uh, Instagram tomorrow before the game. And then, you know, guys enjoy it on friday you guys gonna enjoy the whole thing all right so thursday game we have the dolphins versus the jaguars not the hottest game barn burner huh Eh, it's not really (laughs) it's a joke man it's not really you know something to be very excited about it's one of those um kind of like the browns versus the Bengals on monday yeah usually thursday games they really find uh Mm. The hot trash of the weekend. I don't, know, I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. It's hard to find a good Thursday game Dolphins these days. versus Jaguars. But at least we got, you know, Gardner Minshew, which is a cool-ass dude, versus uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, which is uh, another, another cool dude. Uh, another the cool QBs are dude. very cool. Just <laughs> everyone else. We got else. the stash <laughs> and we got the beard. <laughs> Just so, I mean, we got that going for it. Everyone else is uh, uh, trash. <laughs> Just, I'm, it might be in rough hey, over here. No, I mean, the Jags... I, even though they were tanking this year, you still got to be a little surprised. I mean, they one did. And one. I mean, they beat the Colts week one, which mm-hmm. is, I think, still a solid win. And then they went toe-to-toe with the Titans. I mean, uh, say what you want about the Titans. They still made it to the AFC Championship game. I think they only got better. They added Clowney. They still got the same team. And they went toe-to-toe with them. They lost they on a last-second field goal. They did. And know who made that 50-yard field goal? Gostowski. <laughs> of course he did. That motherfucker. That's what he fucked Goes him. Goes one for five, and then the next week, you know, he hits two fifty yarders, and he's out there celebrating. It's when you hear him talking about this, you know he got screwed with like a bet or something. Never forget, <laughs> so dude. Like, yeah, never, never forget, forget, dude. Never, never. Um, who you got in this game? Uh, what is and it? And what is this? Oh, I gotta pull the. Yeah, can you pull the lines? I believe uh, Jacksonville was favored by three, from what I remember. But I mean, I mean. Early thought on this game, just from, I know Miami's 0-2, but they've actually been playing really tough. You know, they played Buffalo really tough, mm-hmm. played them almost down to the wire. They ended up losing by three points. And then the and Patriots. And Miami, yeah, they played New England very tough, too. It's a very similar type game. They they played them tough, and then they kind of pulled away in the fourth, but they made it close at the end. I still got to put, my personal pick has got to be Jacksonville in this game. I mean, they have been looking good. Obviously, their defense needs the, a little help. The line is at three, by the way. Jacksonville? Uh yeah yeah and it's in it's probably in Jacksonville too is that correct um, yeah I'm, I'm sure it yep. is in ja- yeah yes, okay is. I mean Jacksonville looks like they're putting together something nice offensively Minshew's spreading the ball well he's still got Conley he's still got um, DJ Chark he's got Westbrook and even that undrafted running back from ISU is looking good too so I mean obviously I never will tell anyone to play big money on the Jaguars <laughs> but it is a Thursday night game and everyone's dying to bet you know they've taken a few days off from Monday night so I'd play Jacksonville maybe just take the minus two and a half or take the three points and you know see what happens. you don't like doing teasers on Thursday what do you mean or it's, Monday there's only one game on Thursday yeah Why but you add it to the cheese it I mean you cheese it to the game remember we want the money now dude we're not waiting to Sunday for our money <laughs> come on man come on Right. I, I, I take Jacksonville. I don't feel terrific about it, but mm-hmm. I'll, I have the Jags win in probably like 27, 23, right around there. Okay. Um, I got the Jaguars. I don't think they're going to be winning, I think, by a touchdown. I got them by a touchdown. Nothing too big. Um, Dolphins are not the <laughs> the best team, but, you know, they, they, they do have a good QB. They do have Fitzpatrick. I do like him. He does have a good solid. arm. He's, he's solid. solid. He's solid. He's fun. I like him. He's, he's fun. fun. To watch. He's, he's fun, fun to, to watch. watch. Yeah. yeah, I think he's perfect for what Miami needs right now. He's he's a solid starter. He knows his role too. He knows mm-hmm. he's the keys to Tua here. I, we don't know when Tua's coming in, but as of right now, I mean, Fitzpatrick's still fun to watch. He's still got the energy and he's playing some solid football. I agree. 
Chicago Bears versus the Atlanta Falcons. The so Bears. now we're starting the Sunday games. Stop our sh- I can't believe the Bears uh, are freaking 2-0. I, well, I mean, I, I do after game one. I knew they were going to beat the, the Giants because the Giants are garbage anyways. But we didn't look good versus the Giants. We did Let's not just look be good. honest. I mean, Ooh. okay, Mitch looked decent in the first half. I guess we'll give him a little bit of credit for that. And then in the second half, Mitch, you know, people started getting a little too excited. And Mitch said, hold on a second. I am who you thought we were. (laughs) I am. (laughs) Whatever that shit is, man. I mean, he was still very sporadic. He still made questionable decisions. I don't know. I'm. This is very. Still can't move that well in the pocket. Still same problems. He moves okay in the pocket. He just gets scared. He can't get out of the pocket. No, the thing is. Even when he has a clean pocket, he gets very shaky and he gets those happy feet. He'll be blocked perfectly. Everything will be fine. And then he he just, he he does. He he like starts freaking out like, Mitch, where are you going, dog? Like your offensive line is blocking for you. Stand in there comfortably, stand tall and make the throw. It's just, I, I mean, come on, man. Just breathe it out. Just breathe it out. Let it go. I know a lot of people will say, shut up. The Bears are 2-0, but it's just hard to, you know. It's not for long. You got to see who they played. They played the Lions in game one. And the Lions were banged up. And and so were the the Giants. The Lions were banged up. You know, dude, I was talking to, uh, you know, my last guy, Michael Jackson. um, And and we're going to be talking a lot more about him in the future for sure. Because that dude is very, very, you know. Smart, inspirational, a lot of good stuff about him, um, and he's a Lions fan. So I was giving him a little bit, sh- a little right. bit of shit. Rightfully so. Yeah, yeah, rightfully so. And he cannot stand Matt Patricia. And he actually mentioned, "Is like, dude, Patricia's an idiot. That's why." He's like, "What has Patricia done for the Lions?" See, the thing is, you he gotta be frustrated be a if you're a Lions fan because he's. With the Lions, you actually have a little bit of talent there. He you have a quarterback. Right. You got some, you know, I know the receivers have been hurt, but, mm-hmm. I mean, they, you know, they continue to underperform under Matt Patricia. They, you know, yeah, just, they just can't. They but, just can't. I'm um, like, is, is, is Matt Stafford the problem? He's like, nope, we we'll, we'll like Stafford. Stafford is not the problem. The problem is we don't have a coach. They need to fire him ASAP. 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 What is it? His third, I think third year already. It is, I know yeah. it's just been. It's been he was a great like, coordinator. Though. A coordinator, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, a lot of these uh, like top tier defensive coordinators that end up getting a head coaching job. Look at the Bears defensive coordinator, Vic Fangio. Mm-hmm. He goes to Denver, and it's been a complete mess. Yep. It's been a complete mess. It just well, uh, injuries hasn't helped Denver either. Yeah, injuries hasn't helped Denver, but there's been a lot of questionable coaching calls that Fangio has made, and it's just. You know, I bet they're wishing to go back to D coordinator, you know. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot less blame and a lot less responsibility. All right, going back to the Bears and the Falcons, who we got? What's the line at? The line is at uh, three and a half uh, Falcons, our favorite. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, the Falcons are 0 2, a very strange 0 mm-hmm. 2. I mean, I think everyone saw that Cowboys game. I mean, how they Very. lost. I th- uh, there was a point at the game where the Cowboys had like a 98.5% chance of winning. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. So Falcons had a 1.5% chance of losing that game, and yep. they lost. Seems just like that's why they're called the Dirty Birds, man. Do you blame the special team for that play? Well, partially the special teams and partially the coach as well. I mean, how, do you, mean? how do you blow that big of a lead? That's, oh, that's you mean the lead, right? The well, yeah, I mean, it came down to the point. last play. I understand that, but I mean, it shouldn't really have ever been that close. I mean, when you got a flipping twenty point lead, that's all got to go right. on the coach. It has to. I mean, yeah, the Falcons are zero and two, but for me as a Bears fan, it's still a scary matchup for us because the one thing the Falcons could do is they could score points. I know our defense is good, and I know it's coming around, but I don't. I see the Falcons scoring at least twenty four points. Right. You can't see the Bears scoring twenty four, can you? No. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't know. It's No, I don't. It's I mean, obviously I want to ride the Bears as always and maybe Sunday morning I'll get that bear fever once I put on my Bears 47 jersey. 47 and a half. That's, That's over, the under, over right under right now. I mean, if if I'm a betting man putting all my bias aside, under. I, I I I see this as like a 27 to like 20 game as a Falcons. But, you know, 27 20, that's really? That's what I see it as, right around there. I mean, the Falcons' defense isn't that great, so we may Do you be see able the to... Bears scoring 20 points? I don't know. You know, if they get down a few <laughs> scores or a couple garbage time touchdowns, I all mean, right. come on. I don't. I hate uh, choosing the Bears right, when I think they're right, going to lose. All right, so, all right. So, you, you think know? they're going to lose this one? 
the best case scenario right no, here no, is No, no, that's it, not what we're asking you. We're asking you to make a pick. I don't see the Bears going into Atlanta and winning. I really don't. I mean, so do you Do you have the Falcon covering? Yeah, I have the Falcons covering this game. I just don't. I see the Falcons scoring. Our defense is still, they've looked okay so far. Um, but they still scare me, though. Danny Trevathan up the middle, he can't cover anybody right now. We just extended him, so very worries me. I can agree with you on that one. I don't think the Falcons are going to go 3-0 and oh at oh, home. Three. Oh, I'm sorry, 0-3. Oh, I, I don't think they're going to go 0-3 oh at home against the Bears team. They already screwed the pooch with two games already. They really messed up big in the last game versus the Cowboys. Now, if say if the Bears put up a big stinker, they lose to Atlanta, they're still 2-1. and one. Hopefully they go to Nick Foles, huh? Hopefully. I, f I feel like that's best-case scenario as Bears fans. I mean, Trubisky looks like the same identical quarterback as last year. Um, I'm just going to say this. Do you feel it would be better to pass the team to Nick Foles while the team is winning? Why do we get to wait for Trubisky to screw up? He's a screw-up already as a quarterback. Let's just give it to Nick Foles already. Wouldn't that well, be... Trust me, you're... No, no, preaching to no, the I'm not, choir. I'm not preaching. I'm just, I'm, I'm stating the fact. I want to know if you agree with me. Wouldn't it be better to give a team to the new QB on a 2-0 and record? I mean, you know, I think it's a little bit harder because Mitch hasn't lost a, technically he hasn't lost a game yet this season. So it's really hard to bench him. He played him. versus the Lions I and understand. the Giants. And he's looked mediocre against bottom tier defense. Very mediocre. And even the Falcons defense. Well, shouldn't is that very be enough? Tier. Oh, wait. Let's wait for you to screw up. I mean, he it already been be. screwing up. But let's take for you to take DL, and then we're going to take the team away from you. It should be. It's, it, I, I'm as baffled as you are, man. I am, I'm as baffled as you are. This doesn't make any sense. But, anyways, we both have the Falcons covering the three and a half. Go Bears. Um, but still go Bears. <laughs> go Bears. Exactly. Still go, go Bears. Bears. Come on. All righty. We got the Bungles versus the uh, Steelers. Uh, the okay. Steelers or, um, no, not the Steelers. I'm sorry. The Eagles. Bengals versus the Eagles. Eagles at home. Oh, boy. That is. That is uh, oh, boy. God. Anytime I say the Bengals, I just don't know. I No. To me, the Bengals are still the shittiest team in, in the league. And I know the well, Dolphins. I mean, the Dolphins are still in there, but the Bengals, I think, are a little bit crappier than the Dolphins. But man, the Eagles has looked. The bad. Eagles have looked like a mess. Bad. Mess. Their offensive line is a mess. Uh, Wentz their looks very confused. The receivers are a mess. Well, I mean, they got Deshaun Jackson as their number one. Their rookie receiver Rieger, he's number two. I mean, those aren't. Those aren't one or two receivers right now. Deshaun Jackson's in his mid-30s. You're trying to work in a rookie receiver with no training camp. I think it's going to be a little bit of a mess, especially with the offensive line. But I'm a huge Carson Wentz fan, but he has looked bad this year, too. Though. Really he, bad. At times, he has had clean pockets, and he has been missing throws, and it's it's been it's been ugly for him. It, it's, it's, it's been ugly. It's not pretty. No, it has not been. It, and it sucks because I'm, I'm a big Wentz fan, but... As of right now, it's not looking terrific for him, and they need a bounce back game. And if there's ever a bounce back game, you know it's Bengals is it's the a one. Bangle. Definitely is the it's one. It's Bengals. I can't see myself picking the Bengals, even though the spread even is though, five. Even though the uh, are the Eagles at home right now? Yeah. Okay, Eagles at home. <laughs> They're favored uh, by five. See, the thing is, Eagles are zero and two. I still think they're a solid team. I just think they've had a, you know just a tough start to the season. I mean, obviously, you see I see them I, making the playoffs. At, well, the the NFC East is real. I know, real mess. I, know. I mean, I know. I don't. I don't want to fade the Eagles too much yet. I'm gonna ride them this week. But if they lose to the Bengals at home, I mean, that's I'm gonna a whole lose all story. hope. Yeah. yeah, that's a whole other story. That's it. I think I agree with you. There'll be no fans in the stands at I, Philly, but if they lose to the Eagles, they'll hear the booze. I don't see them. <sighs> they will hear them. People will be jumping out their apartments. I don't know if I want to take the cover, though. I don't know if I see them covering. I know minus five is not much. And it is the Bengals. And they are playing home. You would think, right? I got this game around like 27, 21. Um, yeah. I don't feel super confident, obviously, betting on a fading Eagles team. I'm, I'm worried it's going to come you down know? to the last field goal of the game. I mean, I'm not going to bet big money on this game. I choose the Eagles to win. 
the Fiverr covering five or winning by six points. I don't know. Yeah, I said. agree. Um, I won't take them to cover. I think that it's going to be a field goal difference. Uh, but I am picking the Eagles to win at home versus the Bengals. All right. Uh, Texans versus the Steelers. All right. The Steelers like? are favorite by four, and the Steelers are playing home. Well, that makes sense. How, how brutal. So let's just – how brutal. I mean, obviously, the it's Texans rough. are 0-2. It's rough. You start against the Chiefs, Chiefs the Ravens, and, yes. and Steelers. Yeah. I mean, that's a tough break. I don't that care is. how you put it. That is. I think right and now they it's might go 0-3. See, the thing is, right now with the Texans, you don't like, rough, are the man. Chiefs that good? Are the Ravens that good? Or are the Texans that bad? We don't Obviously, know. Obviously, each game wasn't close. We don't know. Not at all. Each game was not close at all. Yeah, because they're not at the level of the Chiefs and not the levels of, of Baltimore. Exactly. We not. realize they're not at their level, but I don't think they're a bottom tier te no. team either. I no. think they're around 8-8 eight and eight right now. Yeah. That's what they're looking like. The Texans are looking like a 7-9, 8-8 eight eight team. All right. Um, I can't. It'd be, I could. I mean, this is an underdog play where I could see the Texans winning, but I wouldn't feel confident about it. I mean, the Steelers, the Steelers struggled. They, I wouldn't say struggle because obviously they're two and zero. I mean, obviously, I think this is this is a pretty tough game to bet because the Texans are zero and two, and I think you go get a little desperation from them. Yeah, they played the Chiefs and Ravens. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the Chiefs and Ravens are a whole nother tier than them, right. and they proved that. I, I see the Texans, like, right now, the way they're trending, I see them as a 7-8 win team. Right. But they have the talent to be anyone. But You confident I, Big Ben came back all the way? As of right now, I think the Steelers look solid. I mean, but it is hard to judge because they beat, what, the Giants and they beat the Broncos with mm -hmm. their backup quarterback right. who came in. Uh, I, w I would want to stay away from this game. I see the Steelers winning by a field goal. I could see the Texans winning, though, because they do have the talent. All right. As of right now, I mean, this is a tight one. It is a tight it's one. It's a tight a one. Very tight one. Yeah, I don't know if that. I don't know about the, the, the. I give the slight edge to the Steelers. I see it as a one-score game, but you know those zero and two teams, especially the ones with the <sighs> talent. I mean, you gotta but, be careful. But yeah, the Texans can't get a break. They start with the Chiefs. They go to um, Baltimore. And now they go Steeler. to Pittsburgh. Come yeah, it's on. rough. What did that? That's rough. Does it get harder than that? That's a rough Those schedule. Those are three contenders right there. Yeah, back I don't know if I, I... I think I'm going to have to disagree with you on this one. I think this, the Texans pick up their first W. I could see it happening. Yeah. I could see it happening. Yeah, I'm going to give it to the Texans. I think they're going to cover because they are plus in four. Uh, plus four. And I think they're going to pull... They're gonna pull a win. I think they're gonna pull a they win. I think it. I think they Watson need needs a win. I think he's gonna give it his all. I I do believe in Watson big time. I think he's definitely the future. I don't see him going three down like that. And I think, like I said, he he started versus a very good Chiefs, and then you give him Baltimore right after. That's that's yeah. And that's then exhausting. Go to and then it's, go it's to a Pittsburgh. Tough call. We'll that see. is that we'll is. We'll see. The season's on the line. Not too many teams recovered from zero and three. Yeah, that is teams. very true. Okay, so we finally have a disagreement. You have the Steelers, I have the Texans. Next matchup, Raiders versus the Patriots. Whoa. Uh, Patriots what? are home. Patriots are home? Yes, and the uh, line is at six. Patriots, uh, Patriots. Are, Patriots are favored by six, mm -hmm. really. I'm surprised by that. That's the opening line right now? Mm -hmm. All right, well, whew. I see the Patriots winning this game because obviously it's in Foxborough. Uh, the Raiders are in a short week. They have to travel across the country. That never bodes well for any team. Are they going to cover? <sighs> Whew, I see this game being like right at six right now. I see it being right at six. I see it as, oh, man. If if I would pay attention to this line, if this line goes up to seven, I mean, right now the Raiders look like a very balanced team. They could run the ball with Jacobs, even though Jacobs is hurt right now, so I think that has a lot to do with the line. Uh, he's questionable to play for the game. So if you are betting on this game, I would definitely definitely keep a strong eye on that. But, I mean, it's the way the Patriots have looked so far, especially going into Seattle, and they're one yard away from winning, oh, boy. And you have Jacobs in your fantasy, don't you? I do, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, wait, I don't know if I've seen Jacobs. I do have Jacobs on my fantasy. How has so he been doing for you this he's year? He's been doing good. He's been my bell cow running back. So right. we'll uh, – Hopefully he plays. I mean, I need him to play. My team needs him to play. Yeah, and you have – how is Bell doing? I know but you have Bell as well. Well, Le he's hurt. Bell. He's on the IR right now. Is so. he done for the year? Uh, I, he's not looking like he's coming back to about like week five or six. So Oof. I don't even bring him up. I'm still pissed <laughs> I drafted him. Man. Are, are you going to drop him? I'm not going to drop him, but I'm going to I'm gonna wait out to like week five, see how he <laughs> – 
The Jets have no one else on their offense. I figured he'd get 20 carries a game, five, six catches. Uh, All right, talk to, talk to me in week five. Let's see how he does yeah, in week we'll five, we'll and see. then we'll see. Maybe I'll give you some, I'll give you some coutons for him. All right. Um, I do have the Raiders covering the plus six. And I, God, I hate picking the Raiders in <laughs> anything. See, but. the thing is, the Raiders actually look solid, but it's it still did. just, it's they still the did. Raiders. I'm going to pick the Raiders. I'm going to pick the Raiders. Uh, if I'm putting in money, which I probably will, I'm definitely going to put the Raiders versus the Patriots. I wouldn't say definitely. I mean, you're I, still going to New England and it's still going against Bill Belichick. I so. don't believe in the Patriots this year. I don't. Not a what? big fan. I love Cam. It's not a Cam thing. I don't think Cam has enough weapons. I don't. He doesn't have a lot of weapons. He but doesn't. It doesn't really. It doesn't seem to matter as long as he's healthy. Yeah, I but mean, he's, he's gonna get tested a lot back. more than. Yeah, he had a great game versus the Dolphins. They, I mean, going into Seattle's a pretty big freaking test, don't you think? Seattle's got a decent defense. Uh, it was a shootout with Russell and Cam almost went toe to toe. I mean, obviously he, he threw that one pick, which was a little bit ugly, but everything yeah, else was fine. good. Yeah, Three no, no. I, I don't blame him for the pick. It's it's fine, but it is what it is. I mean, yeah, it made him look bad for a sec, but overall he had a great game. Um, and then you know the Seahawks just I don't know Seahawks were being the Seahawks. The Raiders looked really good last week. They did. They made. Drew Brees look very old. Or maybe Drew Brees is just very old. Or Drew Brees makes himself look old. Or Drew Brees makes himself <laughs> look old. It could that. I don't it know. Could be that too. It's, it's one of the other. It could other. be that too. <laughs> but um, I, I, see, I see the Raiders making the upset on this okay. one. I don't want to overreact on the Raiders just yet. I want to I want to see how they play out here. I think New England will be a tough test. As again, I said, they're traveling across the country on a short week. That always brings some worrisome for the gamblers. So just be careful. I agree. I agree. All right. Um, we got Baltimore versus the Chief. I'm trying oh to find the God. line on that Ravens one. Ravens minus three. He's like, the three. Ravens minus three. He's oh, like, I know me. that one. Oh, no He's shit. like, I've done my homework. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude, I've been waiting for this game. How much of a doozy is that game? Ravens and Chiefs on Monday Night Football? It is minus. Does it get better it, than that? It is the Ravens minus three. The Does Ravens. it get better than that? It's in Baltimore too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in Baltimore. What a game that is. That is. is That is a game for the ages. I mean, the last few times these uh, teams have played, each game has been really tight. Yep. Whew. Whew. Who you got? Dude, I'm I trying to figure out. I mean, whew, that's a rough one. Um, I'm going to pick first on this one. I'm going to win the Chiefs. I think they can cover the plus three, and I think they're going to pull the upset. See, you'll, you'll never hear me say this, ever. You think ever, Baltimore? ever. But I'm <laughs> going against Mahomes, man. <laughs> And Mahomes is my dude. Mahomes so is my favorite player So that's three picks so far this week that we I'm have different. Saying, I'm just the thing is, I do the the chief. I, I don't want to. Uh, what happened think. to the Chiefs and versus the field? The thing is, the Chiefs. Get, I I understand that, but right now they went. They're going, they're going to, to Baltimore. Baltimore. They're going I to got Baltimore. You. I got you. Um, and Baltimore looks strong. And the thing is, the only thing that worries me about the Chiefs is their run defense right now. Yes, is the Chargers controlled the clock mm -hmm. they played i mean they had a rookie quarterback on the verge of beating them but right the there. chiefs always have them shaky games in the season you know what i mean it doesn't uh, mean i, I understand that but they some, always they went down last year to the raiders by like three touchdowns in the first I half know. and then they came back and whooped them but the thing is if they come out yeah sometimes the chiefs do come out slow yeah sometimes they always wait to the second slow. half and they'll be like, oh, shit, all right, we're playing? Hey, all right, all right. Can you call what are we down by? How, <laughs> much, how much are we down by? <laughs> by three? Okay, three, we got three this. Three touchdowns? Oh, let's all go. Right, all right, we need to wake up. No, let's go. Yeah. For some reason, they like to start out games slow. And Super. I, mean, I don't know why that is. It just takes a little while for them to wake up. I mean. Do you think Pat Mahomes could pull the – well, I don't want to say the – is it, how, is it how would it be an upset? That? How strange is that to say? Upset. Pat Mahomes pulled well, upset. upset. I know. Right? It doesn't sound right. It, it doesn't, doesn't sound not, right at does all. It does not sound right. Not at all, man. All right. Pat Mahomes won in a, a Baltimore. In Baltimore. Do you um, see it? As of right... Oh, God. I can't even... I don't even want to say I'm going to bet against Pat Mahomes. <laughs> it's all wrong. I can't even <laughs> say it. That shouldn't ever be in anyone's vocabulary, saying oh, you're going to get a go yes. Pat Mahomes. Yes. Uh, me breaking down this game, obviously the Ravens look super strong right out the gates. Uh, they pounded both teams. Their run game is 
phenomenal. They got rookie J.K. Dobbins. They got Ingram. Jackson's running wild. Uh, Jackson looks like he le- left off right where he was from last year. Um, the Chiefs last week worried me a little bit. It took it took their kicker nailing hold a on, few hold DVR. on, what? hold on. What? They always start very slow. They do They're start like diesel. slow, but They're it like took, diesel. It takes a minute w- to... You know when but it's like you but Rem- why though? I remember, why? remember when we used to live in the Midwest and you used to get out and turn your car on and let it yeah. really warm up. Yeah, and let it warm up before That's the anything. Chiefs. Okay. But once it's up it's, and it's running, going, it's, you can't it's, stop it. It ain't stopping. It's like you said it earlier. We were talking. Um, you know, when they were playing the Chargers, they were like, "Wait, we're down by how many touchdowns? All right, now we're gonna start playing." And they just yeah, went but for it. It also took the kicker nail in a few deep kicks. Yes, Man, that game had me worried. <laughs> Not only was it the last part of my teaser, but I live lined them like four different times, a hundred dollars. So I was about fucking about eight, nine hundred dollars deep on the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. I was sweating bullets, man. I was sweating bullets. If he missed that kick, if he missed that fifty-eight yarder in overtime, it was over. The Chargers would have got the ball at midfield, Done. and they would have went down and scored a field it goal. Been... And not only that, he had to hit it three different times. I agree. Three different times. I was actually watching uh, the game with Timmy two times mm-hmm. on Sunday. Yes, sir. Um, and before that kick, I was actually standing in the same spot where Cody Parkey double doinked. Remember where? Ooh. Remember the Bears double doink game? Yeah. I was with you guys. Yeah. 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 Okay. Remember so, the, yes. Yeah. Remember the double doink game? Yes. Yeah. So anyway, it didn't I, look good. So I had I had about a two thousand dollars swing on this one kick in the Chiefs game, right? <laughs> yes. And sir. I'm standing in the same spot where Parky double doinked it in my apartment, and I said, "Hold up!" I was like, "Tim, this is where he double doinked it. Let's switch." Mm. So right before the kick, me and Tim switched spots, Uh-oh. and what did he do? He made the kick. There you go. There you go. So I don't want to say that who you I, got. I don't want to say that I helped make the kick, uh-huh. but it was my pre-play adjustment that really did help. Not get through. Well, let me make it easy for you. That's a bad luck spot. Me standing by my bedroom you, door. You definitely is a didn't bad help luck with spot. any way possible. I don't want to take credit for okay. it. I well, do you're not, not. We're not giving no, you credit. No, I don't want to take credit. I didn't see anyone giving but any I'm credit. I'm saying my pre-play adjustment did help. It had to help. Did do you see anyone around that is giving credit? Because I wasn't giving credit. I'm just, I'm just saying. All right. I'm like, just saying. It's becoming exhausted. I'm you saying. You should post that video on the Trendy Husky page, by the way, Which when the one? Bears double doinked it. Oh, that's right. That was pure I do have a It was photo. a good yes. video. I do it was have, a good video. You I should gotta post it. I got to find it. I got to yeah. find it. That's what happens when you keep changing phones every year. Not by choice because you keep dropping the shit out of them. All right. Ravens. <laughs> Chiefs. This is a fun game. Man. You gotta give me a pick. I'm still. just letting you know it's a fun game. I, I know it's a fun it's a game, but it sounds game. like you don't want to give our fans out there, our, our true fans out there. No, I I'm do. Kidding. Our true fans out there. Our I true. I said, let them know. say true. I said our true fans out we there. We got more than two. <laughs> I'm kidding. Come on, we just had Tito, man. Yes. Yes, God. we did. But anyways, give me a pick. I'm still pushing Dude, for a pick. I'm not picking against Mahomes. <laughs> but I'm going to take the Ravens. <laughs> okay. Hey, if you're betting. I'm not if picking you're, against Mahomes. If you're betting and you watch the Trendy Husky podcast, I am not picking against Mahomes. But I'm taking the Ravens. But I'm home. taking the Ravens. Oh, no. You should feel very, very confident in that pick. I'm, <laughs> it's the Chiefs Ravens. How can I feel confident? What, about are, you, going, what are you doing to us? You should say. Fix your mic, damn it. <laughs> You should say a pick and feel goddamn confident. You, you stare at that camera right now Dude, and you tell them what your pick is. I'm go- I I gave you my analysis. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going against my homes, but I'm taking the Ravens. If slightly. we wanted to turn the last ana- analysis, we could have freaking turned <sighs> first take up. The and Chiefs, the right, is still the, out there. The, the Chiefs, I think it comes down to the Chiefs' run de- defense really scares me. The Chargers controlled the clock. They controlled them with play action. And the Ravens are coming ha- at them with a three-headed monster. So you have the Ravens winning. Do you do see them have, covering the three? Uh, do you see I them mean, covering the field? It's if not I'm much. betting this game, I'm taking money line because I see this as a field goal game or less. Uh, Sledge, but, you know, yeah. if the Chiefs get down, I'll probably live line I'm, them. I'm seeing the, the Chiefs, of course, covering because plus three because I do see them winning the game. I see the Chiefs winning the game. The Chiefs um, will win if they don't freaking come out slow and wait to the third quarter. Lam- if they wait to the Baltimore third quarter, are very out, tough. I'm not taking scores. anything away from Baltimore. I just think the Chiefs are a lot ahead. Chiefs don't look like they're playing with a chip on their shoulder. That's no, the problem. They, they, oh, they but don't. they played all of that. I mean, they played the same way all of last year. Well, I'm not really worried. Baltimore is hungry. 
I think they're angry. They're hungry. <laughs> All of the above. All of the above. All right. Next game. Packers versus the Saints. Packers Saints are, are at home, and the Packers are the underdog. Uh, the the D line is at three. I mean, obviously, as uh, one of the top gambling rules is never overreact on one week. But I mean, who's made that rule? <laughs> That's one of the. Th- you don't want to fade a team just because they had a bad week traveling on the road. Yeah, but they look like trash. Monday. I know. I don't. Obviously, the Saints in the Superdome are a whole different team. I agree. On the that road. is very true. A whole different team. So you that don't want to fade them too true. much. And remember, they didn't have Michael Thomas, and it showed. It showed hard. Come on, they're throwing the Sanders Cook. They did not have a backup it's receiver. It's Drew Brees that worries me. It's I understand. Not, it's no that. one else. It's just. Just one person, one person only. Either way, though, I mean, there's Reese. no fans in the Superdome. Packers are underdogs. Rodgers is looking like an MVP form right now. Mm-hmm. I have Russell Wilson as the top MVP, but Aaron Rodgers right behind him and right. then Lamar Jackson. But either way, though, I mean, Ooh. this is a great underdog Oof. game. After two games? and uh, we, uh, oh, After two games? Whatever. Whatever. I'm Pat just saying. Mahomes is not, is not there. Not in the top three right now. You're kidding me. What do you mean? What am I kidding you for? He It took him three and a half quarters to wake up. Yeah, I mean, as the races should games. be very tight, but I don't think you should as be. As of right, I'm just saying as of right now. You shouldn't have a top three in the first two All games, right, but fine. if you do, Pat Mahomes should be in there. Lamar Jackson should be in there. And Rod should be in there. That's, you should and just Russell should... Wilson should not yeah, no, 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 he should. He's the front runner right now. Yeah. By, okay. by, by, by like a slimmer, just like by a little bit. You're right. I just, you can't have top three in the first two games. Well, this is a Sunday night game. Obviously, I mean, I'm going to hammer the Packers, though. I don't, I think so. I mean, the Packers look really good right now. I mean, they're scoring 40 plus points a game. Rodgers is playing with a chip on his shoulder. He doesn't look like he lost his step. It actually looks like he's so gained a few steps. So you got the Packers winning? I do. I mean, right now, I don't want to fade the Saints too hard. I don't think it's going to be, you know, Packers win by more than a touchdown because obviously they're going into the Superdome and Sean Payton's going to create a good game plan. But as of right now, um, I got the Packers that, right now. You by a touchdown? Uh, right? No, I got the Packers by four. I got the Packers winning about 28-24. I think Rodgers gets it in the final drive, drives down, scores a, scores a game-winning touchdown. I'm with you on this one. I think the Saints are going to lose this one. I think it's a good money line to play. <sighs> they Obviously are different in the Coliseum. You're right. Well, not Coliseum, I'm sorry, the, the, uh, the, I'm sorry, the Superdome. My in bad. My bad. I just made All a right. little little mistake. They are, they are, uh, they are scary in the Superdome. Um, but no fans, so you got to think it's yeah. more of an even game. And yes. as of right now, watching these two teams play, you just got to admit the Packers look scarier. They look like the better They still team. have the fake fans. I don't know if that counts. No, I don't think that makes much of a difference. I have the Packers covering the plus three. I have the Packers winning by by a field goal. That's what I got them at. Um, all right. Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Broncos. Uh, where's that game at? Br- Denver. And what's so the line? The line is, uh, of course, the Bucks are favored by six. Bucks are favored by six on the road. I think they cover, and I think not only they win, I think they cover by a touchdown. Okay. Uh, the Broncos looks, look, they look very I mean, weak. They look, they they have problems in their defense. They have problems in their offense. They have problems all over. Um, I wouldn't say all over. They still went to Pittsburgh and only lost by five, and they were driving down to take the lead with their backup quarterback. <clears throat> I wouldn't say that's. De- always going to Denver. It's always a tough place. I to I think play. you're very high on the Steelers. I'm not very high on the Steelers. I think what you, you are. I'm I think not... you're very high on the Steelers. What I does think... that have to do with them? Well, because you said, okay, so say what you said again. You said the Broncos went to? They went to Pittsburgh and played them tough. Okay. They played the Steelers I, tough. I think I, I think you're th- very high on the Steelers. I'm going to say it again. Okay, what, so what does that have to do with the <laughs> I don't think Bucks the Steelers are that good of a team. I don't think the Steelers are that good of a team. Okay. Yes, they they. They lost by five points to another shitty team. A shitty team? I'm not. Listen, I don't have the Steelers. I don't have the Steelers making the playoffs. You don't. I no. I don't. Do you want that uh, as? uh, Remember, you owe me a hundred dollars from the Bucks. uh, I do. Bet. I do. You want to? I'm down a hundred. You want to do another hundred? For for the Steelers. I say Steelers make the playoffs. Come, come on, tough guy. You acting all, you know, you acting all tough saying the Steelers aren't going to make the playoffs. Okay, you're on. And now here you're I am on. calling you out you're, live. You're on. Live. You're on. Husky I don't Parkin. see the Steelers making the playoffs. You are super on. You I are don't. super on. Brother. I just don't. You are super on. 
I don't see the Steelers making the super. I'm sorry, the super, the playoffs. Yeah, we're just doing playoffs. Sorry, playoffs. Right, 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 again. I like my chances. Again, I had a long week. I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. That's your fault. That <laughs> Superdome is gonna become the Coliseum, and you're gonna be paying the price for these mistakes. No, no, no. This is not, you, this you one will is be. That'll my be picks bucks. won't be you a mistake. My my picks won't be a mistake. I don't see them making the playoffs. I don't. I don't believe in Big Ben as much as you do. And um, I don't know. I, that's just me. All right, going back to the Broncos game. Um, I got the Bucks winning by four. I got the Bucks winning by a touchdown. Okay, so we're actually in agreement on that one. Uh, do you like Brady more? I mean, obviously. Do you like that whole Fournette? <laughs> matchup see the thing is it was actually nice to see Fournette come in and contribute right away he mm -hmm. shows that you know he could contribute in this offense right. you know, pretty strong back but then again they played carolina at home i mean that's the thing they played carolina at home i don't know how much stake i really want to put in that because well, carolina is so better than denver mm. oh stop it i don't know i don't know i think carolina and denver are both going to be no, I don't think Carolina is better than Denver. I really don't think Carolina is better than Denver. <laughs> Especially Carolina just lost McCaffrey, too. They're in a little bit of a trouble. They um, are in trouble. They're in a little bit of trouble. I don't know. I mean. He's like, no, no. I was like, wait, they just no, lost. No, 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 He's no, like, no, 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 no. Then he's like, no. See, the thing, I just don't know about the Bucks yet. Yeah, they look solid. It looked like they clicked a little bit against Carolina. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, come on. Carolina's Car defense is uh, it's in the rebuild mode right now. I don't. I still want to stay away from the Bucks. I just want to wait till week five or six. I know I said that at the beginning of the year. Wait till they start clicking. All right. All right, all right, all right. Um, do you think, oh, before we move on from the Bucks, do you think Fournette is going to, I'm only, only asking because I've, <laughs> I've got Fournette, my fantasy. Do you think he's going to be the first running back for that team? I or mean, I pick? think the way he performed last week puts him in the top tier. Unless if he starts fumbling the ball or has a bad game, yep. I think they'll be quick to switch to, back to Ronald Jones. Yep. But I still, maybe Fournette got him like about 60 to 70% of the staffs now. Yep. And then after that, you got Ronald and uh, Shady. I agree. Next game, Lions, Cardinals. Cardinals at home. The line is Cardinals are favored by six. Cardinals look good. Let's just say it. They right. do. We, I don't think Two that's been said. I don't no. think that's been said in about 10 years. And they're playing a shitty, ooh, a crappy Lions. That are I know the two. Lions have been banged up, and they may get Galladay back this week, which will be big for them and Stafford. It will be. Galladay's a top Yeah, but Gal Galladay's receiver. coming back doesn't mean he's going to be 100%. That that's where true. you, because I do have Galladay on my fantasy team. I'm not going to start him this week. You're not. You're not. Really? Not. I can't. Even well, you if, took it, him into her fought what fucking second round? Was he a second first second round yeah, pick? Yeah, it was right? a second round pick. Exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, I took, uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I took uh, who is it? Sanders. Yeah, in the first Sanders round, in the first and round. then I yeah. took um, Galloway because I, you know I had eight picks, so I really no, went down. Yeah, yeah so, I had eleventh pick, so I know. I yeah, know how you feel so right. Galloway um, Galladay. was Galloway. I'm sorry, Galloway. Galloway was my um, my second round, but I. Yeah, you took him in the second round for a reason. He's I still think hurt. He, I can't star him if over. If he's a full participant at practice, I say you ride with him, man. Uh, Stafford has been missing. Star him, him over a cup who had an amazing game last no, week. No, I'm saying start him over John Brown. Oof. John Brown's he's had been a nice solid start. for me. Yeah, I know he's been solid, but he's also playing the Rams now. And the Rams defense has looked stingy. They've had some good pass rush. They got good secondary. That's just my opinion. Okay, actually, I do like that opinion. You're right. The Rams have had a good defense. You're very right on that. I'm actually, I'm actually taking your advice on that. You're right. You are making a very good point. I do like that because the Rams' defense is actually no joke. We'll see. I mean, and what's the line on this game right now? Um, Cardinals by six. Cardinals by six. At home. At home. Yeah, at home though. Okay. I mean, Cardinals at home. That's easy. Three zero. Easy three. Uh, yeah, easy. Easy, they're gonna I, take. I mean, the way the there. Cardinals Easy. have been playing, the way Kyler Murray has looked in he, this offensive system, yeah. and he's got new toys. Man, he loves DeAndre Hopkins. Listen, because I got much love for my uh, for my uh, buddy uh, Michael Jackson. Um, I, I fire Matt Patricia. <laughs> he can't <laughs> stop talking about how he wants you know Matt Patricia to be fired. He just can't stop talking about it. he. Cannot no what no lion fan can actually. It's probably stand. how we talk about how we want falls over Trubisky just as much. 
That's probably how much he talks about Matt Patricia. Oh, we just want fight. Trubisky gone completely, just like they want Matt Patricia gone. I, you know, it's not oh, a just just get out of here. Yeah, we just want him done. We we <laughs> we want we want to be done with Trubisky. We just want to turn that page and freaking move on. No, I see the Cardinals winning this game, and I definitely like them. Probably in a teaser because you could tease them down to even. So definitely look out for them in a teaser. Yes, I do agree with that. Yeah, Cardinals with a teaser. Oh, yeah. Okay, Seahawks versus the Cowboys, and the Seahawks are playing home. The line is at minus five. It's at minus five. Huh? Mm-hmm. See, I'm sorry. Fee Seahawks are favorite at five. By five. Okay. I mean, the way the Seahawks are playing right now, it's really hard to bet against them, especially it's at home. Hard betting against the Cowboys too. I mean, uh, even though they though? look. Sh- Hold on. Even though they can come out and look shaky, and Very they shaky have, at times. and they Very have, dude, they should be zero and two right now. No doubt about it. They should they be They should be O and freaking two. two. They stole a game in Atlanta. They or I'm sorry, it. from Atlanta. I I don't I don't get it. How? A special team should be in trouble big time. How about keep, them cowboys? How about them cowboys? <laughs> Maybe. But um there's some games where they just come out and they look scary. It, it, the problem with the See, cowboys the cowboy- is consistency. Exactly. Cowboys are one of those teams where you wouldn't be surprised if they went into Seattle and won. Yeah, of course. Which is a top tier team. Yes. Because they have all the weapons to win. But they have those weeks where yeah, they just lose don't get those goofy yeah, you, you ass get, games <laughs> and you're scratching your head like, yep. what the hell are you doing? Yeah, yeah. And the Cowboys, I mean, new coach, they got uh, some new toys to play with, but they look like the same team. They're losing some games that they should win. They're winning some games that they... I don't know. It looks like coaching looks like to be another I think another it's coaching. Problem, yeah. I was going to say that I think it's coaching. I mean, they coaching. got a new coach, obviously. I don't think McC- I, I've, I've said it last year. I've told you this. Multiple. I don't think McCartney is the right answer. It's still early. I mean, it's two weeks in. Dude, you can't yeah. say it's not the right answer. How do you answer? go for two fake punts Yeah, that was, in I one freaking game? Two fake punts, one game. And I both of them don't work. No. <laughs> both of them, no, they're like, no. Nope. I mean, if McCarty would have lost that game, I mean, I know they still grilled him in the Did press conference. Did you see that onside kick? It literally went like this yeah. around the whiskey glass yeah. and then right on back in there. <laughs> I don't even know. I thought Jerry Jones was going to have a stroke up there yeah. when they received it. Oh. You saw him shaking, then he was like, yep. I'm like, oh, yep. boy, yep. Easy. Yep. He's like, easy, cowboy. Not pretty. Easy, man. Because there's a lot of crap you could say about Jerry, but it's not like he's been cheap. He has a very expensive stadium. He's been paying his players besides the QB. I don't know why. But well, it, I think we're finding out why. We are finding out why. I think we're finding out why. Look at Dex got all these toys. He has another great offensive line. And what does he do? Eight and eight, nine and seven. I would like to remind everyone that this man in front of me. Before the season started, I said he would be in the conversation. He predicted that. Go ahead, about that. But I'll let that you. Dak would be in the conversation for MVP. <laughs> I was it looking for you so far? I'm just saying. Do you not? Just, okay. I was it looking for you? Do you I'm realize asking. he threw for 450 yards and rushed for three touchdowns last game? Don't give a shit. He's one and one, and he should be zero and two. You're not well, gonna be in the MVP you know. conversation if, if you, you have Buku stats. Like I predicted, you're gonna be in the conversation. Mm. If your stats are like his right now, they're gonna put him in the conversation. That's all I was saying. Is Murray in I the didn't conversation? Predict it. He's got to be. Yeah, of course. Because he's he's had a good start. In the conversation, me probably means top five. Top okay, who's seven. your who's you? Okay, fine, that's fair. Who's your top five right now? Who should be in the conversation? Russell Wilson's a clear yes, number one. Aaron Rodgers. And I actually bet on Russell before the start of the season. Lamar Jackson. Bucks. Lamar Jackson. Pat Russell. Mahomes. As of right now, okay. it's Russell Wilson. Wilson. Aaron Rodgers. Lamar Jackson. Okay. And then after that, you could go from there. I would probably put Mahomes at I'm four. I'm gonna put then. Mahomes at four. That's fair. And I'm gonna put Murray at five. Or That's am I fair. even? That's fair. It's rough, but yeah, I mean, all of them. They're 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 like a slimmer away from each other. They're not that far away from each other at all. It's still early. I mean, it is still very early. But I'm saying m- even Murray could be could be you know seen as top three in that MVP race as of right now because 
he looked amazing, man, in both games. I mean, I th he's still a little erratic throwing the ball, but I mean, his legs, he's very smart he's with very, the ball. He's very fast, too. Smart and fast, fast. and quick. Did you, he had that like little stutter step yes. move, blow right by yes. them. He just, like, you don't think he's that fast, but then once you get in the game, it's just that little jackrabbit just runs right by you. I agree. I agree. Runs I agree. Right by you. So, who you got? Wait, did you say your pick already? Oh, Seahawks, Cowboys, Seahawks. It's hard for me to pick the Cowboys right now. The so Seahawks, Seahawks look good. I'm going to ride the Seahawks. I think they win it by a touchdown at least. Okay, I'm with you on that one. But don't feel, you know, I wouldn't lay huge money on the Seahawks because obviously Dallas has the potential to beat anybody. You keep saying this, don't lay huge money. So once I'll let you know lay, when one, to lay huge money. Once okay. we're done with all the picks, I want you to give me a couple of picks where people would should feel comfortable laying huge money. Okay. Because every time every pick is like, don't lay huge money. Don't lay. We want to know where the huge money. Why, where are we going to lay the huge money? Well, remember. We're we about making like, buku money all over right, here. All God right. damn. Damn, man. I don't see you fucking throwing out your opinions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. I am throwing out my opinions. I've been very good, actually, with NFL. Been getting better and better. But if it comes to NBA, oh, I'll, no problem. I could pick him all day. I mean, I did pick the Clippers. They didn't look too good, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we're going to bet on that Clippers-Lakers series. Remember, we're going to do that. Oh, uh, we were. You got bailed out. There. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. That's very true. What, what you mean? Eh? No way the Clippers would beat the Lakers. No way. I, I, no I don't want to talk about something's not going to happen, so we'll just move on. I'll let you win this one by default. All right. Jets, Jets versus Colts. Um Colts are playing home. What's the line at? <laughs> You're not going to. 10? 11. I'm actually all right. Uh, close not enough. bad. Yeah. I've, I haven't looked at the lines because uh, someone didn't let me know we were doing the NFL picks today. So I have not done any line research in, as of yet. So this Listen, is all going off the top of As an expert, head. you should have your line. You should have everything in your head. It's in? Period. Okay. You should just be ready at any time, any moment. Have I not go. been ready? All right. All right. So Thank what you. are you complaining about? God, bring the napkins. Can we bring the napkins over here? All right, let's make a bit. All right, Jets versus Colts. Colts are playing home and they're favored by 11. <sighs> I mean, that's unless you it's put in a teaser. It's more than two scores. It is. But the Jets are atrocious. <laughs> the Jets are bad. If you're going to lay 11 points. Are they worse someone? than the game? Uh, the, the game, the gambles. Are they worse than the Bengals? Yeah. Are they? Oh, yeah. The Jets are a, a mess. They are. Are mess. they worse than the Dolphins? Yes. The Jets are the worst. Are they officially the worst team this year in the NFL? Yes, I do. I think the Jets, J E T S R S H I T. That's what I think. <laughs> They're bad. They are They're bad. A mess. I got to give you that. They are, they are, mess, are terrible. Man. Obviously, I got the Colts winning the game. I'd never tell anyone to lay more than 11, or 10 points. What do you do with the Le'Veon? Do you trade him? Do you keep him? Why do you even have him? Ah, uh, That's another good question. Why do you have him? I, I don't know. I don't I don't know what's going on. Is with he the Jets worth right anything now. in the trade market right no, now? No, not at all. Nothing, right? He's a twenty nine year old running back, twenty eight year old. He's coming off a he's coming off a hamstring injury. He was out of shape in training camp. He wasn't getting carries. I, I, no, no, there's no trade market for him at all. Who you got? Do you tease this one? I mean, of course we both got the Colts winning. Do you have the Colts covering by the 11, or should you look for a teaser for this one? I would look for a teaser yeah. just because I don't – I mean, obviously the Colts look good uh, beating up on Minnesota. Mm -hmm. um, but they still lost in Jacksonville week one, and I still feel like the Colts are trying to figure things out. They're, they're still working in Rivers. You, I was going to ask, are you a believer in Rivers right now a little I'm bit? I'm not. I think Rivers at his age is a low-tier quarterback right now. Mm -hmm. um, his arm is gone. He really can't throw deep. But he could control the offense. They, I mean, the, the rookie running back, Jonathan Taylor, he looks like the real deal. Um, they could control the clock with the offensive line. The defense is, I would say, solid. Um, I don't know. I got the Colts winning by 10 in this game. Colts winning by 10, huh? See, the thing is, with laying those points, I'm always scared of, like, a backdoor cover. Like, yep. they could be up 17 points, and then they put in their backups. Yep. And then the Jets drive down and score a garbage time touchdown. Yeah, I feel you. Those back, backdoor covers are always tough. All right, I got the Colts. I uh, yeah, I I do a teaser. I don't know about the mine, uh, the the eleven. I I don't feel confident with that. I do like him by a touchdown, even a touchdown and have like ten points. But I I don't like the eleven. So yeah, don't definitely don't go big on this one unless if you're gonna tease it. 
Um, next one. Panthers versus the Chargers. Chargers are at home. Chargers are favored by six and a half. Chargers are favored by six and a half, really. Yeah. D- See, Again, you just said the Panthers suck. You just said exactly. Kyle White Lions suck. I said they're bad. You, you, you said they suck. I said they're worse than Denver. <laughs> well, yeah, Denver is pretty. I mean, do you have Denver making the playoffs? No, no. Okay, no, no, so no, they're no. they're so if you have the well, Carolina, suck is and, a strong term. Oh, excuse me. Suck is a strong excuse, term. Okay, what the Jets you? suck. <laughs> do the Bengals? Do the Bengals and the Dolphins suck? Just so I understand your your scale over there. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That the Bengals suck. suck. Yeah, it's like I don't want to lose fans here. If if I was watching a podcast and someone said the Bears, well, I would listen agree with that. exactly. <laughs> too, I the people, the fans, they want to hear the truth. Yeah, they want to hear the truth. If if their team suck, they want to hear the they thing suck. is though with the Bengals. It's like a girl. You meet her at a bar. You just like. You know, trying to get some. He's just like, you're so pretty. But, you know, she's not. <laughs> she's not pretty. She is ugly. But and the no, only no, reason why no, you're taking her no. home. Yes. Listen. Only reason why will... you're taking her home is because you're smashed. This is. No. You're way beyond smashed. This is different. <laughs> okay, please. I think with the Bengals and Dolphins. Uh-huh. It's like meeting a fat girl, right? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, hold listen on. Up. Wait, hold on. Let <laughs> me finish. Okay. It's meeting a fat girl that has potential of being cute. Because right now you got Jer- Joe Burrow. Yes, the Bengals oh, suck I right now. Oh, I get it. I the get Bengals it. suck right now. Right now the Bengals are a fat girl. <laughs> a fat girl at the gym okay. who is trying and has potential. She has the gym membership. Got it. They got Joe Burrow. She's paid for Joe every Joe Burrow month. is the gym membership. Got it. And if they stay, you know, if they stay, work hard, work hard with Joe Burrow and he gets better and better. Mm-hmm. She has potential to be cute. Same thing with the Dolphins. Yeah, right but, now, they're but, a fat girl. They got Bear- Tua. They didn't buy the gym membership yet, but they got Tua right there. Uh-huh. And they got the potential to be cute. Just, you know, maybe wait. Those wait, are the girls. wait, 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 wait. So they're both at the same tier for you. Yeah, no? they, they suck, but they have potential. They have potential. They have got a it. future. Got it. You're talking as if That's what Tua saying. will be able to do things by himself. Does he have weapons? I, I don't. Really thinking, I, Tua does have a little weapons. They got Devonte Parker. They got Preston Williams. Mm-hmm. I think they got a young core that nothing not, impressive, not not super exciting. Exactly. But I so think, you're still I talking about Tua's the girl get into the gym, opening the door, be like, mm, I, I'm actually gonna be late for work, and then she just comes off and, and gets yeah, back she's in her hesitant, car. She's but very it's in hesitant. Her head. It's right it's there. She head. gets to the handle. She's touching the handle, Maybe. but she has not. Re- but it. See, it's a she, gr- the membership is still there, still it, coming out of her yeah, account. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. Yeah. I get it. It's a girl you want to give their number, but you only want to send them a text a month or two. Yes, and then what, you want to keep an update on her, out. like hey, see how it plays out. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a long time. Mm-hmm. Send me a pic. Yeah, I'll, there send, you go. I'll send you my pic. You send me go. your pic. Yeah, there you Let go. Let me see what's there up. It yeah, it's a long term game. That's what I, I'm saying. I got it. You know? I got it. You like you like her attitude, but you just don't like her. So for all you guys struggling to get laid, maybe maybe. I, it's not funny. Look I mean, for your Bengals out there. Out there. Look, Look for, for the Bengals and Dolphins. Look I'm for... saying it's a perfect opportunity. Yeah, your butt ugly. You may not get with a hot girl, but you know, play that game. It's, it's look. You gotta look you for your bengal. It. You just gotta you go. gotta find your bengal out there. Everyone got a bengal out there. There you go. Find your goddamn find your bengal. bengal. Invest. <laughs> Invest. Invest in your bengal. Invest. It may pay off. It, listen, it's not guaranteed, but it's it may. okay to actually invest in a bengal and maybe even help her get to the gym. You know, maybe, 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 I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. What are we talking about anymore? This is not about food. Where is this going? Find your bangle. Find your bangle. Find <laughs> your bangle. <laughs> Could it have been a fat guy? Why did it have to be a fat girl? Because this is this a This is a show. dude show. <laughs> what do you mean? I take offense. Find your bangle. <laughs> Get that hashtag going. Offense. Find your bangle. All right. Um, so you, do you have the Chargers covering? <laughs> Is it, is Six and a half. Yes, about? this is. A, do you see them covering versus as, the Panthers? As of right now, it's still too early in the week because we don't know the starter right now. They said okay. Tyrod Taylor. Uh, blown away by this, still the coach came out and said if Tyrod Taylor's healthy, mm-hmm. he's going to be the starter. Did you Did you hear the reason why he went out? No, the way? no. It's because he he was having a rib problem, right? Mm-hmm. So you know how they put you know they inject painkillers. Yep. Well, uh, the doctor went to inject a painkiller, which is pretty normal in football before a game. Right. You inject a painkiller, just get a little bit numb so you could go through the game. Mm-hmm. Well, the doctor missed and actually punctured his lung. 
So that's why he couldn't breathe before kickoff. Oh, was, Jesus uh, Christ. When you saw him, oh, God. He <laughs> punctured his lung. Oh, God. Oh, God. I didn't know. Oh, Isn't God. that kind of funny, though, as a doctor? That's rough. You mess up Please as a tell team me physician. He's like that's, fired. Mal- that's malpractice. Did that's he not fire? Funny. <laughs> that's I mean, not funny. I, I don't know if he's fired yet. Uh, actually, the NFLPA is looking into it right now. So, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, punctured okay. his lung. So you, you saw him like. Remember when they said he was having chest problems yep. and no one knew what it was from? Yeah. It was because his own doctor teammate That's poked amazing. Him, poked him, yeah. Uh, how much you want to bet? He's he- probably like, uh, here looks good. How- <laughs> <laughs> nope, 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 but you missed. You missed, Doc. I was going to be like, Doc, you missed. Hey, listen, maybe, you I, sure? yeah, I'm maybe sure. I had the big bed down in Vegas. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Just saying, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Not surprised. So just wait. Um, obviously, I like what Herbert did, and the Chargers looked very solid against the Chiefs. I'll have to give them that. The rookie showed a lot of poise. So let's just wait and see who's the starter before we touch this game. Let's let's touch on this game because I don't think we're back on this week because right. we are booked for the rest well, of the, the week. What? Chargers who? I'm gonna keep trying. They're playing the Panthers. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's like, wait, were you here two minutes ago? Panthers, Remember, find your bangle. Panthers find. just lost McCaffrey. I mean, I see the Chargers winning, but if you go, I would take the points. I'm the taking Panthers. the Chargers by a touchdown. I do see them covering the six and a half. They looked good. Um, Panthers looked bad, man. And then you add in the the McCaffrey loss. That's yeah. It's not gonna it's do them any good. Yeah, it's a rough one. Okay, next one. Browns versus the, I still can't say this name right, the Washington football team. Washington football <laughs> it's like team, I still right. can't get used to it. The Washington football team. Okay, uh, Browns are playing home. They're favored by a touchdown. A touchdown. Hmm. I mean. Hmm. <laughs> That's rough. It's a little bit tough. I mean, I think these are both middle-of-the-road teams. I mean, Washington uh, beat up. Beat up Philly in week one, and then they went on the road and lost in Arizona last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it wasn't really even that close in Arizona. I mean, I think it ended up being, what, a two, three touchdown game. Right. Uh, I hate betting on the Browns because you never know what you're going to get from them, right. especially laying a touchdown. I mean, I would take Washington with the points, but I think the Browns went around four, four to six. I have the Browns winning by a touchdown. Uh, I think the, the, the Browns are, are getting better. They still have a... They beat the Bengals at home. They still have a quarterback problem. Um, but I think the reason why we got scared from the Browns is because they played Baltimore in game one, and Baltimore is just... Yeah, a whole nother tier. A we whole nother that. tier, yep. yeah. So uh, I think the Browns win it by a touchdown. Uh, I, Washington is one and one now. Mm-hmm. Nothing special well, so far. They're both nothing know. special. I think they're both... No, 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 no. I think the Browns got potential to be special. They got a solid, nah, okay defense. They they still got a lot of weapons in the offense. They still got Odell. They still got Hunt. They got, you know, Nick Chubb. This is they a got, game the Browns have to win. At home against Washington, they're playing a younger quarterback. I mean, this is a game, if you want to be considered a playoff team, you got to go out there and... Oh, yeah, no. Show, you got, you they got to ram Washington. Them, yeah. Oh, I agree. I agree. I do have the Browns winning by, by a touchdown. You have them winning by four? Mm-hmm. Okay. Vikings, Titans, Vikings are playing home. Vikings are the underdog, even though they're playing home by two and a half. Vikings are 0 and 2. They are 0 and 2. Did you see Very Kirk Cousins bad. last week? Mm-hmm. 11 Terrible. of 23, 130 yards, three picks. Yes. No touchdowns. God. That's Cousins for you, though. Like I said, uh, here's the thing. Hold up. Hold up. Cousins will come out and play like garbage one week. And he'll come that's next more than week. Garbage. I agree. That's no, cousins. That's good. That, that's cousins for you. And then he'll come in a week later and play like MVP kind of like player. You gotta give him that. Some games you just don't understand what the hell is going don't on. Don't understand at all. He just comes out of like nowhere and he starts throwing. Everything is clicking. Mm-hmm. Everything is is that's that's cousins. <laughs> that's why you know. I mean they're. I don't want to bet on Minnesota, but their season's on the line. They're 0-2 mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, like you said they're earlier, it's kind of hard coming back from Yeah, 0-3. the Titans are 2-0, and but they're not super impressive. They barely beat Denver on the road, yep. and they barely beat Jacksonville. Both last second field goals. Again, and now they you're talking about another Tennessee Titans, same as last year. I mean, they were 
how, how did they finish the season? They finished very yeah. mediocre, and, and they and made the six. playoffs, and uh -huh. they beat the you know Patriots in the first round. Titans games are always close. You know, they always come down to you know the why? end of the wire. They always have a better defense. They, they, their defense is always better than their offense. And they control the clock. They do. They run the they ball They do well. they know how to clock. control their clock. They have a better – their defense is much better than their offense. I – I'm going to go out of limb here. I think Minnesota wins this game because for some reason, after after a very bad week, uh, you know, usually Cousins, after a bad week where he takes all that heat in the media, he comes back and throws for three scores, and everyone's like, oh, well, maybe this guy's not that bad. It's been a recurring thing for him for the last three years. So you have the Vikings cover, I mean, cover, I, winning and covering. Okay. I do. I think the, the Vikings are 0-2. This is their season right here. They got a home game, yeah, against a solid Titans team. But I think you're going to see a lot of sense of urgency. And I think you're going to see a little bit of chip on the shoulder from Kirk. I mean, I don't feel super confident in it. But I have the Titans winning this as a one-score game. I see them like 21-17. or. Wait, you have 24. the Titans winning? No, I'm sorry. I have the Vikings winning. Oh, uh, yeah, so I get confused. 21-17, no, 24-21. Okay. Right around Vikings? that. Yeah, I see the Vikings winning. Yeah, I think I'm going to write that one with you. I think I don't see Cousins coming up. And screwing the pooch on this one because his season is on the line. Screwing the pooch. Screwing the pooch on this one. Its season is on the line. Uh, it is two and a half. It's not that much. I think, you know, I, I don't know. I don't, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I do see Tennessee winning by a field goal, and then I do see the Vikings maybe winning the other way by a touchdown. How about you make your pick, huh? Where All right, Vikings. Picks? Vikings yeah. by a Vikings by a touchdown. Quickly put everyone to sleep while All you right. decide. Yes. You're like, mm, mm. It's a rough one. Close it is a rough eye. one because Vikings now you know are how playing I feel home. When you were asking me, straight you're up the questions. NFL expert over oh. here. If I take my time, oh. so I'm. You know, my picks have been kicking your your NBA, my NBA. Picks have been kicking your butt, so. Oh yeah, that's okay. That's what the hundred dollars is for, right? Well, we bit yeah. on one freaking game. You got lucky with. Lucky. One game. Let's let's make okay. We're gonna Told bet. you the East was stronger than you thought. That's all. The East was stronger than I thought. Yeah. We we're talking about. I took the, the field. The, I know. I know. I took the box. I, I I get it. Just let you know. No, it's not that. It just. Well, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Good. We'll talk about that after we're done with the picks. Yeah. With all right. Fist. <laughs> <With my fist. laughs> All right, Giants, 49ers. Giants are playing home. Giants are the underdogs um, by four. Um, this is another really is tricky a one. problem because a lot of injuries. A lot. Niners. See, we don't even know if Garoppolo's playing. They yeah. just lost Bosa. They don't yeah. know if they have Tevin Coleman. The Niners could be down five or six starters, yeah. which makes easily. It and they and they're staying on the road. They they played yeah. in New York last week and they play again, so they don't. But travel they're playing back a very crappy Giants. They do play a crappy Giants team, and you know, no Saquon Barkley. Obviously, Done the Giants the just lost Saquon. I mean, that's sad. You got. I, I Last see the, week, it was just... Brutal for injuries. <sighs> Everything. Brutal, brutal. It's tough. It shows the lack of training camp. These players aren't as in good of shape. There's a shortened training camp. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. Remember the NBA lockout season? You saw all those injuries. You don't have a full training camp. You don't have a full yeah. practice. These players aren't in tip-top shape right now, and it's showing on the injury report. Yeah. Who you got? I got the Niners by a field goal. I don't feel super confident. I don't. Obviously, the... I mean, we don't know if Garoppolo's playing yet. I do so. have, the, I do. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm gonna have to take the Niners by a field goal just because I don't believe in the Giants at all, man. And I'm not very confident on this pick, so I would not put any money at all on it. Not even as a cheese or nothing, because this is a game that really could go either way. 49ers have. Like 49ers are clearly the better starters. team. It's oh yeah, just, just not with not with five starters. Yeah, gone. Gone. That's a big difference. Yeah. That's a big, big And difference. even if they come back, they're still going to be banged up. I mean, they're not uh, all coming exactly. back. Well, Garoppolo, even Garoppolo if Garoppolo maybe, plays, he has a high ankle sprain. Yeah. You saw him throwing on that. He was limping time and time yeah. again. I mean, I don't care who you are. You're going against a healthy NFL defense. Yeah. They're coming after you. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Okay. Rams versus Bills. Uh, Bills, by their favorite by two. Bills are favored by two. Bills yeah, are they're at playing home. at home. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna write the Rams on this one. I think the Rams think have a, a very play. good, a smart very. Rams good, look good, huh? They do. The Rams look good. I think. I think Jared Goff is gonna make you eat your words about him. 
I ah, think he's. I think so. Ah, I think we'll so. See. Hey, he's, playing, all right right he's now. playing very well. He's playing, all he's right playing right safe. Now. He can throw. Yeah. I mean, Sean McVay's dialing up some good plays for him. The Ram he didn't I, have any picks last week. I mean, the Rams look good. I'll, I'll give them that. I didn't see them coming out to the start, but they also beat a Eagles team that looks atrocious. And, and they, they beat a Cowboys. A skeptical Cowboys team. Yeah, I agree. Very skeptical. I agree, but, but. So it's not like they've beaten top tier talent yet. But hold on. Let me stop you right there. The way they beat them. They controlled the clock very well versus That's the Cowboys. They, they controlled the game versus the Eagles. They they controlled the games very well. Um, they looked in control mostly in the second halves. I, I'm uh, yeah, they look good. I, it's yeah, you're right. They didn't beat a top team, a top tier team, but they they looked in control in both games. It's the way they you did. win. Yeah, they did. The mm -hmm. Bears are two and zero, oh, but they still look. Like a very shaky two and zero. Oh, very shaky. Very shaky. Could have been zero and two easily. Oh yeah, easily. two plays away. Easily two plays zero and away. two. We can't say the same thing about the Rams. Well, Bill, Bills are at home here, two point game. I don't know. I've, I've I I like the Bills in the preseason. Josh Allen's, I mean, actually looking pretty good right now. I right. mean, he threw for four hundred yards. He's moving well. He he threw the deep ball. He looks accurate. Yep. Uh, it looks like he's clicking with Stefan Diggs earlier. The Bills got to sure up that defense a little bit, but I got uh, I got the Bills winning a tight game. It's in Buffalo. Uh, Bills I think this look is, good, too. I it think just... this is going to be a good game. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good tight game. So you got the Bills? Yeah, I think the Rams got to travel. Um, Did they cover the two? Yeah, I think so. I okay. think the Bills by a field goal. Okay. That's what I got. All right. I want to see them win. That's the NFL picks of the week. Hey, hey let's see how we got go. through another week. Let's we see how we do. We went twelve and four week one, fourteen and two. Well, hold on. Two. This week we have a couple picks that are different, so we're gonna make sure we we'll um, we keep track we'll and we'll, we'll see track. who got. It's gonna look sad if the French guy gets more uh, picks than you in the NFL. It's not gonna look good. For not worried about now. it. Okay. Not worried. God, I'm gonna eat shit next week. Not worried. Not worried. If, if, okay. Not worried. All right. All right. Not worried. All right. All right. NBA. All right, let's go to it. Uh, I want to check on the score right now because the game, I know the, the Miami Heat are playing as of right now. I want to see what the score is. Okay. Um, we have time. Heat are up 50-44 to the Celtics. 50-44? to 44? Mm -hmm. Can I hop on that live line for Boston? No? <laughs> you can hop on that <laughs> live line. Go for it. As of right now, I mean, I do see... Boston tying up the series at going 2-2. Wait, you have Boston winning this one? I do. I okay. do. I honestly still... God, the thing is, you keep wanting to go against the Heat, they keep proving you wrong. Yeah. But, I mean, Boston's Boston does have more talent. Boston does have more talent. Yeah, but... I, I mean, they got more scores. I mean, look at the last game. They had the problem. four guys drop 20 on you. Who's their best two talents? And they just the got team. Gordon Hayward back. Who they just had him back last game. Yeah, but he hasn't him. been able to make it. It still hit. helps, though. It still helps. He's still another guy, especially if he's coming off the bench. He could get you 20 the points The best easy. two players are Tatum. I will never say anything bad about Tatum and Kemba. Problem with Kemba. And Jalen Brown's right there. Yeah, he's right Jaylen's there. Right Problem there. is with Kemba, dude. Like, some days he comes in hot Atrocious. He'll have, days, like, a 4 mm -hmm. of 18 night. Come in. Yeah. Like, literally, he'll shoot 4 of 18. Because <laughs> all those step backs yeah. and those... Not oh, working. Man. Yeah, it's not working. And some days he'll come in hot, hot, hot. Kemba needs to step it up. So, again, Kemba, Kirk Cousins... <laughs> Are similar right it there. Could be. Some, it could days, be. some days they, you know, you're very confident, and some day not so much. I, I have the Heat closing the series in six games. In six games, uh, okay. Six, yeah, six or seven, but I'm I'm confident in six. Um, yeah, I think the Heat. Do you, you, you have good. Boston closing in how many games? I don't know. I uh, this is a back and forth series. I don't want to take anything away from the Heat. I just think Boston has a little bit more talent. I see Boston winning in seven. Okay. But obviously, right now they're down two one, and the Heat look like a, they look like just uh, right. They just look tough. Well, here's the That's thing. Remember that it. the Heat were up two one. I'm sorry. Uh, they 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 are up two one right now. They were up at right after game by before game three they were up 2-0 mm -hmm. i don't see jimmy butler losing that many games in a row i don't for the celtics to catch up and then get i i don't hey you could say the heat the heat have been the most impressive team in the playoffs 
they've they have been ten easily. and two. Uh, I mean, well, the Nuggets are right there too. Okay, I don't want to take yeah. anything away from the Nuggets because they have come back twice from of a three-one deficit. Of course, that has been impressive. But the Heat haven't had too many off days. That's what I mean by impressive. I, I, I agree. Ten and two in the playoffs. That's. I agree. Okay, um, going to the uh, Western Conference, you got the Lakers up two-one. I was actually happy to see Denver win last night just because I wanted to see it a series. Mm -hmm. I mean, props out to Anthony Davis. That was a hell of a shot, by the way. Man, that was Again, filthy. do you feel like everyone is making the mistake of writing Denver off? Of course. Yeah, it looked like it last night, too, because the Lakers came out slow. They did Joker not come out aggressive. Joker just came out and did his thing. Man. But Denver came out. They came out aggressive. Aggressive. Aggressive, you know? Murray Something did his thing. Joker did his thing. They weren't playing around. Something these, about Denver with their backs on the wall, they take it to a whole nother gear. Yes. They like their backs on the wall. When the Joker is on, and he's on most nights. God, that um, fadeaway. Yeah. What is so some I don't of those fadeaways? He turns out of nowhere. It looks like Dirk just Dervinsky. goes in. Like, yeah. It's like, yeah. Like an like a uncoordinated Dirk I don't get Dervinsky. it. I don't get it. Soup. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense, but he makes it. Falls in every time. Um, every time. I mean, I... I bet Denver is wanting it to go to 3 1 because they'll be like, oh, we got them right where we want them, baby. <laughs> they probably want another 3 1 Ooh. comeback. <laughs> I still got the Lakers in six, so the thing is, the Lakers the Lakers are big. The Lakers are big. They're, I mean, they have a bench now, too. Playoff Rondo has shown up. Yep. Uh, the Lakers are deep. I, I still think they're too good. I think when the Lakers are on, nobody could beat them. Nobody could, yeah. Nobody could beat them. Yep. Um, I, I got the Lakers in Well, how'd you like that, uh, that buzzer beater in game two? Yeah, that's what I was saying. That Anthony AD, Davis right? shot. That's beautiful. <laughs> think of if he Scary. didn't make that. It could be a 2 1 lead Scary. Nuggets right now. It could be 2 1 lead Nuggets yep. if he didn't make that shot. Yeah. Think of how big of a shot that is. Yeah. Think of how big of a shot that is. I don't think two and I mean, if the Nuggets were up two and one, I mean, I used I to, think yeah. It, yeah, I don't think it was that big of a difference. But I just I want to see a good series. series. I think the Lakers will win in six right now. But I mean, obviously, I'm rooting for more basketball. The more basketball, the better. God, I I don't want to write the Nuggets off, but I don't see them coming out of this one. I don't. I, I don't know the the if the Lakers have been clicking, man. Uh, my heart wants the Nuggets. Trust me. I don't want to see LeBron in the finals. Um, I, I, you know, I think the Heat versus Nuggets would be a very fun final. Who you got? I mean, a fun final, but the NBA doesn't want to see that. You know the NBA for ratings oh, yeah. specifically. Well, that, if we're they talking want about, to see the if Lakers. If you're talking about ratings, Clippers, Lakers would have been good for ratings. Oh, of course, yeah. Would have been great for ratings. Who you got in the finals and who you got winning it as of today? I mean, I feel confident right now in the Lakers still. I mean, you know, I picked them before the bubble, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm still sticking with them right now. I think they still – they've proved that they're the strongest team. Uh, I got to tip my cap to, of course, Miami because they've been looking like a beast. But I think Miami just at times they struggle. They go through spurts a few minutes without scoring. And you've seen it in the Boston series where they've gone down 13. They've gone down 14. Each time in the second half, they've gone down. And you don't think they're going to come back and they hustle back. It's because of their great defense and they force those turnovers and they get out the ball. But, you know, when you're playing a team that takes care of the ball very well and, you know, it's just it's the, that lack of scoring just scares me a little bit for Miami. I agree. I agree. That lack of that second go-to scorer. Yeah, but they they find a way, man. They they, they have been they, finding they a way. They find that's a way. The thing. They get it done. They're as tough as they come. Uh, listen, again, I've said this before. I want to say it again. People were so hard on Jimmy Butler when when he left the Bulls or when he got traded from the Bulls and when he got traded from Minnesota and when he got traded, um, you know, to Philadelphia and again when he decided to leave Philadelphia. Everybody was pooping on, on Jimmy Butler. Hey, but he's let his play done to talking, you know. I mean, coming from Dude. a Bulls fan, it was tough to see, obviously. Uh, but, hey, he's let his play done to talking, and he's definitely earned a lot of my respect. I was watching. Definitely earned a lot of my respect. I was watching this follow. interview that I found of them just not too long ago. Um, of uh, It was him, Bam, and I um, forgot who it was. Just super cool dudes, dude. No, no, like, no ego, not so ever. It was that young kid. Uh, oh, hero. Yeah, yeah hero. hero. Yeah, yeah. Tyler, yeah. No, no freaking attitude, not so ever. They just, they just 
you know, sitting down, shooting the breeze. They're talking. They're joking with each oh, other. Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, like the chemistry and chemistry like is amazing. Got, everyone's got each other's back. And I mean, Miami Heat's a good story. Even if they don't yeah. make it through Boston or even if they lose in the finals, they're going to be back. Yeah. And they're going to be back strong. Yeah. Bam was talking about this. Um, They're talking about people like splashing money. And of course, everybody was trying to like whoever splashes money, you yeah, have to yeah. point a finger. Everybody point a finger like a Jimmy Butler. Because, you know, of course, he's got more money oh, than yeah, anyone of, yeah. of them. And and Bam was like, and Jimmy Butler was like, hold on, you guys are gonna start getting money more than, than you you know you're gonna know what to do mm-hmm. with, and and you know it's gonna be very difficult, very hard. But trust me, you guys are gonna start splashing money. And then Bam was like, well, actually, I bought this really cool folding machine from Amazon. It was actually very Who cool. Said they that? Saw, Bam. Oh, okay. He's like, okay. <laughs> like, they they showed the picture of it. I'm like. It's actually a very cool thing. All right, <laughs> like, all right. cool. All like right. you put your t-shirt in there, it just folds it, and then like, all right, all right. Nice. cool, 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 cool. Um, so you're sticking with the Celtics in the East, and you're sticking with the Lakers, and you have the Lakers winning it. I have it the other way. I have it. The, I have the Heat coming out of the East. I'm hoping I'm wrong on this one, but I have the Lakers coming out of the West, and I'm having. I'm having a Heat beating the Lakers. Oh, pretty high on the Heat, Pretty man. high on the Heat. We'll see. I'm very high on the Heat. All right. Um, any other news that you want to bring our attention to, sir, before we wrap the show? I mean, I don't think so. It's I mean, It's been a hell of a week. Hell of a week. Dude. We deserve a few I drinks am, this weekend. Oh. Say it again for those in the back. Hell it's of a been week. a hell we, of a week. We had an interview. I think you Just in the last, it. It's last a, seven what days. What is it? Thursday, I'm grabbing a whiskey. Usually I, had, I wait till the weekend, but I couldn't wait this time around. Yeah, I had a, I had a beautiful podcast with Anthony Woods. Shout out to Anthony Woods. Then we did the... Um, you mean Hercules? <clears throat> Hercules. He, he Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude looks like Hercules. That was a hell of an interview, though. Thanks, Anthony, for coming on, man. It's much love. But yeah, dude works out like a beast. Then we had the um, Tito Ortiz. Tito. Tito. Former UFC to- champ. Yep. With 24 hour notice. Tw- yeah, but hey, man. It was, we made it work. It was. We're we complaining we, you, here. No, you, you killed it. it we're was, it we're was, grinders. Yeah, it was a great interview. If you haven't yeah, checked yeah. it out, please, 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 please watch it. Yeah, if you haven't nah, checked it out, go check out the Tito Ortiz, Ortiz uh, interview. It was a lot of fun. Yep. Um, and then uh, the Michael Jackson interview just. Just. Man, hey, we're joining his gym. Dude. We're joining his gym. We're jo- I'm signing every person in my team to his gym. So please, if you haven't checked it out, go check out F45 in Huntington Beach. We need to start supporting our local businesses. Um, he was super nice. I went and had dinner with him, his wife, and um, and his uh, one of one of his uh, buddies who works with him in the gym as well. And, you know, his team is much bigger than that. But, you know, he opened up the gym for me. We checked, I checked out the gym. It's, it's the real deal, man. The thing is, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little real. bit worried. Oh, I've never done CrossFit before. CrossFit is it's fun. I usually go into the gym. We're going I'll, all I'll of grab, us. I'll grab first. my, like, 80-pound dumbbells, just lift Actually, real quick, and then rest. this will be posted on Friday. My so cardio we'll, is not too good, man. This will be posted on Friday my morning. cardio is not too good, so I hope he doesn't whoop me too Oh, bad. you're going to get whooped. I heard, I mean, the, I was talking to his buddy because he's the one who did our bookings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> he was like, all right, I hope you're ready. Oh, no. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> See, I like to lift a lot of like, heavy weights. Wait, I thought, you, I thought you were friends, Kyle. Like it was like, I hope you're ready. But no, dude. Um, Guys, as nice as they come, I couldn't say enough nice things about him, his wife, his friend, his entourage, everything about him and his story, man. His you gotta check it out. Story, you gotta check it out. It's a must see. So it really is a please, must-see. if you live in Orange County, check out F forty five. I promise you, we're we're, we're doing this because I've been with, I'm not getting paid for this or nothing. I'm doing this because I believe in these guys so much. Um, I talk to them. I've had conversations with them. They're as nice, as humble, as as perfect as they come. <laughs> Literally. You couldn't find a better person than Michael Jackson Hang and his family. Hang out with good people and get ripped. Yeah, do it. And if you're looking for <laughs> good, good vibes, right you're there. looking for good vibes, it doesn't get better than those people either. 
tr as nice as they freaking come. Hey, if you I go to the gym, you may see us down there sweating our yes. asses. Yes. <laughs> say hello. Which may be a funny if you scene. see us over there, it say hello. It's not gonna look. It's not gonna be looking pretty, but you know, but say yeah, hello. Look a little different. Um, but yeah, shout out to Michael Jackson and and his whole team, his wife Melissa and Buddy Kyle and his whole whole team. Um, Mark, uh, Mark Wahlberg owns owns uh, he, he owns um, twenty percent I think of his company. Twenty percent. Thirty percent. Happy Cat is giving me the three and the zero. You, I thought you he was twenty. Yeah, I, I am being corrected, corrected all, day. all day. Danny Blue Eyes. I don't. I thought he was twenty percent. They're giving me thirty percent. Called me Danny Blue Guy. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget about that. <laughs> Any blue guy. People okay. get even, me and my brother uh, confused all the time. I even swear. Guna is <laughs> your brother. Right. Even before we like... leave, before we leave, before you eat your words, the Heat are up 12 points. You want to change your picks right we're now? Live line in the Celtics. <laughs> <baby. laughs> like we're we're Austin, live line baby. in the Celtics, lady. But no, going back to what I was saying, shout out to Michael Jackson, his wife Melissa, his whole team. Thank you so much. Uh, for do? everything and uh, what is it? Before you sign out, are we doing a UFC special? E oh. We should shoot one. All right. UFC so special. by the way, before we leave, who you to... got? Give me a quick pick. Casta Adesanya. Casta baby. We should do a Casta. yeah. Hold on. We gotta do a quick one. For for you UFC yeah, right look before. Look out for a quick UFC card. Pick. All right, so we're gonna do a quick UFC pick. We're it's gonna a pick. Big night. It is it's a, a big, big night. night. We might even do a watch party. So watch for our live. Uh, we we'll we'll see we'll see we haven't decided yet we might do a live in YouTube and Instagram so again if you subscribe you're gonna know what the hell Fight is night, going baby. on. Fight Fight night. Night. All right, this is a wrap. Danny Blue Eyes, thank you, beautiful Ali, thank you. I see Happy Kathy in the back, thank you too, thank you, thank you, Luna, Luna as well, thank you, Luna. Alrighty, we'll see you soon, and this one is a wrap.